The main description of Taustiwa phonology was contributed by George L. Traeger in a pre-generative structuralist framework. Earlier considerations of the phonetics phonology were by John P. Harrington and Jaime de Angulo. Traeger's first account was in Traeger 1946 based on fieldwork 1935-1937, which was then substantially revised in Traeger 1948 due in part to the inclusion of juncture phonemes and newly collected data in 1947 in the analysis. The description below takes Traeger 1946 as the main point of departure and notes where this differs from the analysis of Traeger 1948. Harrington's description although from a different period is more similar to Traeger 1946. Certain comments from a generative perspective are noted in a comparative work Hale 1967. Topic: <laughs> Segments The two following sections detail phonetic information about Tau's phonological segments i.e., consonants and vowels, as well as their phonological patterning in morphophonemic alternations. Consonants <coughs> 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 Traeger lists 27 consonants 25 native for Taus, although in his later analysis he posited 18 consonants. Words exemplifying Taus consonants are in the table below. Topic consonant phonetics and allophony voiceless stops, p, t, t, k, are very slightly aspirated. Aspirated stops, p, t, are strongly aspirated. The adjectives, p, t, t, k, are weakly glottalized. The dental consonants, t, d, n, l, are phonetically denti-alveolar. In some speakers, p, may have an assimilated bilabial fricative, p. This can also vary with a deleted stop closure. Thus, p, has the following free variation, ph tilde p tilde. Examples, the fricative, f, only occurs in Spanish loanwords in a syllable initial cluster, f, and may be labia dental or bilabial, footne, fruit from fruta as f t ne tilde t ne. It is briefly mentioned in Traeger 1946 and ultimately excluded from the phonological description. The stops, b, d, are voiced, b, d, intervocalically. At the beginning of words, they only occur in loanwords as in, b sunai, glass tumbler from vaso and, ju une, rooster from gallo where Traeger describes them as less voiced. Syllable finally, they are voiceless, have no audible release, and have a long closure duration, p, t, k. There is a neutralization of the contrast between the labialized consonants, k, k, x, and their non-labial counterparts, k, k, x, before the labial high back vowels, u, u, where only phonetically labialized velars occur. In this environment, Traeger assumes these are non-labials which are phonetically labialized due to assimilation e.g., ku, is ku, ku, is ku, etc. Fricative, x, has weak frication, unlike the stronger frication found in other languages such as, the closely related picurus language. Voiceless, t, is phonetically an affricate and usually post-alveolar, t. Taus, t, is somewhat more palatal than English, t. However, t can freely vary with a more forward articulation ranging from post-alveolar to alveolar, t tilde ts. Some speakers tend to have more forward articulations ts before the vowels e, while ejective t is t before high vowels i, u, and ts elsewhere although there is some amount of free variation between these realizations. Examples, fricative, s, tends to have a post-alveolar allophone before high vowels i, u, especially the high front vowel i, the flap, is a borrowed phoneme the glides w j are phonetically short high vowels u i no closer than taus high vowels which are very close as well when they occur after nasal vowels they are nasalized topic <laughs> <laughs> consonant alternations the stem initial consonant in many verb stems has alternates i.e. shows consonantal oblaut between two different forms in what Traeger calls the basic stem and the stative stem. The basic stem is used for the preterite active verb form while the stative stem is used for the resultative stative verb forms and diverbal nouns. A different set of alternations are what Traeger calls internal oblaut. The last consonant of the verb stem alternates between two different consonants in the basic stem form and the negative stem form. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Vowels. Topic: Monophthongs. Taos has six vowels with three contrastive vowel heights and degrees of vowel backness. Five of the vowels have an oral nasal contrast, which persists even before a nasal consonant coda i.e. the syllables cvn and cvn contrast, where c. Any consonant, v Any vowel, n equals any nasal consonant. For example, the taus has a ju syllable before n, as well as ju syllable before n, as in the words k ash junai, maternal aunt, and j nay, this. Morphemes exemplifying taus monophthongs are in the table below. <laughs> Monophthong phonetics and allophony Vowels, i, u, have lowered variants in closed syllables and when unstressed. The i in closed syllables is somewhat lower than the i in unstressed syllables. The vowel u has phonetic inner rounding. The vowel u has a variant o with very narrow lip rounding before l, m, n. The mid vowels e may be phonetically somewhat centralized. Front e is typically slightly centered in both stressed and unstressed syllables. Back ranges from back to central tilde and as when unstressed. Although both are mid. Upper mid is phonetically higher than e, which is phonetically lower mid. In contrast to the high back vowel, u, mid, is unrounded. Unlike the other vowels, has no nasal counterpart. Examples, the oral mid front vowel, e, predominantly occurs in suffixes while nasalized, e, is relatively common in stems. Nasalized, e, is phonetically lower than its oral counterpart, tilde ash, oral, a, is phonetically front and is uncommon in syllables with primary stress. Nasalized ash is phonetically a central vowel. A, it is lower than and not as far back as. Before a per meter n coda ash is very similar to the centralized before syllable final per meter n, both of which are similar to the of English. Examples: the vowel has a slightly rounded variant after labials p p p b m with and also before p p p b m and syllable final with. Before syllable final nasals per meter, n, and the glide, j, this vowel is centralized, before, n, j, before per meter. Nasalized, is phonetically slightly rounded and higher than its oral counterpart. Examples, the allophonic variation of the vowels detailed above are summarized in the following chart. Vowel length allophony The duration of vowels varies according to stress. Vowels in syllables with primary stress are relatively long and somewhat shorter in syllables with secondary stress. Unstressed syllables have short vowels. For example, the word t -ne, boat is t -ne, with the primary stressed syllable t having a long vowel, the secondary stressed syllable having a less long vowel and the unstressed ne having a short vowel. The presence of a consonant coda also affects vowel length. Vowels are short in closed syllables but not as short as unstressed syllables and long in open syllables. There is also an interaction between tone and vowel length. Vowels with a mid-tone are long while with a low tone are pulsated. Traeger mentions further interaction but does not report the details. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Diphthongs in addition to these monophthongs, Taos has five native vowel clusters i.e. diphthongs that can function as syllable nuclei and are approximately the same duration as the single vowels i.e., ea, i, u. Unlike diphthongs in several other languages, each component of the vowel cluster has an equal prominence and duration i.e. there are no offglides or onglides. The cluster, i.e., is rare in general, the clusters, ea, u, are uncommon in unstressed syllables. Additionally, the vowel cluster u is found in less assimilated Spanish loanwords. Examples of the clusters are below. The phonetics of the vowel clusters vary in their length and also their quality according to stress, tone, and position syllable structure. The clusters ie, ea, u have vowel components of equal length in stressed closed syllables either primary or medial stress with mid-tone. 
However, in unstressed syllables and in low tone syllables with either primary or medial stress, the first vowel in the cluster is more prominent. In high tone syllables and in open syllables with primary stress and mid tone, the second vowel is more prominent. The nasal cluster i has equally prominent vowels in primary stressed mid tone syllables while in closed syllables and unstressed the second vowel is extremely short. The cluster always has the first element more prominent than the second vowel. For the quality differences, the vowel in cluster is raised toward when short, the vowel e in cluster i is raised toward the vowel in cluster u is rounded to and is more rounded than the allophone of monophthong adjacent to labials. These allophones are summarized in the table below. The monophthongs can be followed by high front and high back offglides, but these are analyzed as glide consonants in a coda position. Traeger notes that in these sequences the glides are not as prominent as the vowel nuclei but that the difference is not very marked, and, in fact, Harrington 1910 describes these as diphthongs on par with Traeger's vowel clusters. The following vowel plus glide sequences are reported in Traeger 1946. Topic. Reduplicative patterning Noun stems that end in a vowel have a suffixation reduplication process in absolute forms that attaches a glottal stop, and a reduplicant consisting of a reduplicated stem final vowel to the noun stem which is, then, followed by an inflectional suffix. Stem plus V plus suffix where V equals a reduplicated vowel if the stem final vowel is an oral vowel, the reduplicated vowel is exactly the same as the stem vowel. However, if the stem final vowel is nasal, the nasality is not copied in the reduplicant. That is, the nasal vowel will be reduplicated as that vowel's oral counterpart. In stems that end in a vowel cluster, only the second vowel of the cluster is reduplicated. And a nasal cluster has a reduplicated and denasalized second vowel. Topic: <laughs> Vowel deletion. Taos shares with other languages in the region Pueblo linguistic area an aerial feature of vowel elision at the end of words. When a word ends in a final vowel, the vowel may be deleted resulting in a consonant final word. This is especially common with final, ash, and occasionally with final, u. The elision is also very common when the final, ash, is preceded by a sonorant consonant such as, l, n, etc. For example, the third-person pronoun particle, Ash w ash n ash, he, she, it, they is often phonetically a tilde w a tilde n with syllable reduction and a resulting closed syllable. Other examples include in the words h d ash, h ash n ash, the voiced stops become phonetically voiceless, unreleased, and have long durations when word final in addition to the loss of the final vowel. Vowel elision is common in connected speech. Traeger 1946 notes that the elision may affect stress patterns but that this requires further research. Traeger 1944 states that the deletion of final ash after a sonorant and the retention of ash is in free variation but may be related to speaking speed and syntax although the details are still unknown. Topic: <laughs> Prosody Topic. Stress Traeger analyzes Taos as having three degrees of stress Primary Secondary Unstressed Traeger describes Taos stress in terms of loudness, however, he also notes in several places where stress has effects on vowel length and vowel quality. All words must have a single primary stress. Polysyllabic words can, in addition to the syllable with primary stress, have syllables with secondary stress, unstressed syllables, or a combination of both unstressed and secondarily stressed syllables. Traeger 1946 states that the primary and secondary stress levels are in complementary distribution in low-toned and high-toned syllables. However, his later analysis rejects this. When two morphemes both with a primary stress in each morpheme are concatenated together, the first primary stress in the leftmost morpheme becomes a secondary stress while the rightmost morpheme retains the primary stress. Topic. Tone 
Taos has three tones. High symbol, acute accent. Mid symbol, macron. Low symbol, grave accent. Backquote. The tonal system is, however, marginal. Traeger describes the tones as being distinguished by pitch differences. The mid tone is by the most commonly occurring tone. High tone is limited to a few stems and suffixes. The low tone is relatively common in stem syllables. The high tone is described as higher and sharper than the mid tone, while the low tone is distinctly lower and drawling. Many words are distinguished solely by tonal differences as in the following minimal pairs which demonstrate the contrast between the mid-tone and the low tone in stressed syllables. There is no tonal contrast in unstressed syllables, which have only phonetic mid-tones. Thus, the word, pulu luna, plum, has the unstressed syllables, lu, and, ne, which have phonetic mid-tones resulting in a phonetic form of pll ne. Traeger 1946 initially found the stress level to be predictable in syllables with high and low tones, however, Traeger 1948 finds this to be an error with the addition of newly collected data and a different theoretical outlook. See stress section above. In his final historical notes, Traeger 1946 suggests that in Proto-Taos or in proto tiwa there may originally have been only a stress system and a contrast of vowel length which later developed into the present tonal stress system and lost the vowel length contrasts. Topic syllables and phonotactics The simplest syllable in Taos consists of a single consonant in the onset i.e. beginning consonant followed by a single vowel nucleus, i.e. a CV syllable. An onset and nucleus are obligatory in every syllable. Complex onsets consisting of a two-consonant cluster CC are found only in loanwords borrowed from New Mexican Spanish. The nucleus can have optionally two vowels in vowel clusters V or VV. The syllable coda i.e. the final consonants is optional and can consist of up to two consonants C or CC. In other words, the following are possible syllable types in Taos, CV, CVV, CVC, CVVC, CVCC and in loanwords also, CCV, CCVV, CCVC, CCVVC, CCVCC, CCVVCC. This can be succinctly represented in the following where optional segments are enclosed in parentheses, C1, C2, V1, V2, C3, C4. A further point concerns Traeger's analysis of Taos coda syllables. CC clusters occurring in codas are only possible as a result of vowel elision, which is often apocope. For example, H ash N ash Y has a CV, CVC, CV syllable structure, but after the elision of the final ash, the resulting H ash N has a CV, CVCC structure with a CC cluster in the coda of the last syllable. Topic onsets A single onset C1 can be filled by any Taos consonant except the borrowed F, that is, P, 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 B, M, W, T, 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 D, N, L, T, T, S. J, K, 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 X, X, H, are possible onsets. The onset, and the onsets, B, D, word initially, are only found in Spanish borrowings. In a loanword two consonant C1 C of the onsets, P, 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 T, 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 K, 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 X, X, H, P, place, T, K, K, L, F, can only occur as onsets and not as codas. Topic. Rhymes Within the syllable rhyme, any single Taos vowel I, I, E, E, A, Ash, U, U may occur in the nucleus. In complex nuclei consisting of vowel clusters, the following combinations are possible only in loanwords the u cluster was found only in a single word puen ash frying pan from hypothetical spanish asterisk puela probably from french poele a subset of taos consonants consisting of voiced stops and sonorants b d m n l w j can occur in coda c4 position there is a restriction that high vowels cannot be followed by a homorganic glide ie ij uw do not occur not all VC combinations are attested. The attested sequences of V plus glide are listed in the vowel diphthong section above. Additionally, S may appear in coda position in loanwords, in complex two consonant C3 C4 codas. Traeger 1946 states that the final consonant C4 can consist of a voiced stop, B, D, 
and be preceded by a consonant C3 consisting of a non-liquid sonorant per meter, n, w, j. However, Traeger states that the following are the only attested coda clusters n, l, j. Traeger does not discuss the combinatory possibilities between segments and tones, although he does for stress and tone. Loanword phonology Traeger 1944 indicates the type of phonetic, phonological changes that New Mexican Spanish loanwords undergo when being adapted to the Taos language. Different degrees of nativization occur in Spanish loanwords, earlier borrowings have greater differences while later borrowings borrowed by speakers who are probably increasingly bilingual have much greater similarity with the Spanish forms. The chart below lists some of the correspondences. The inflected nouns in the table are in the absolute singular form with the inflectional suffix and any reduplicant separated from the initial noun stem with hyphens. Although nm Spanish, a, is usually borrowed as taus, it is nativized as, a, when it precedes the taus glide, j, which is the nativization of nm Spanish, d, in the cluster, d, d, greater than taus, jl. Because taus, when followed by j is typically raised ie j is phonetically i taus a is phonetically a closer match to nm spanish lo a thus nm spanish compadre is borrowed as cum piila ne one's child's godfather absolute with ad greater than agil taus a is a better match than e for nm spanish e phonetically because taus e is restricted to affixes in native taus words Another common process is the insertion of i, after in New Mexican Spanish words ending in s, as native words in Taos cannot have syllables ending in s. The other nm Spanish phonemes are nativized as similar phonemes in Taos. nm Spanish p, greater than Taos, p, nm Spanish t, greater than Taos, t, nm Spanish greater than Taos, but see above for nm Spanish sequence, n. Nm Spanish T greater than Taos T Nm Spanish S greater than Taos S Nm Spanish per meter greater than Taos per meter Nm Spanish N greater than Taos N Nm Spanish L greater than Taos L Later borrowing which has been subject to less alteration has led to the development of word initial voiced stops B D Syllable final, s, and consonants clusters, place, p, t, k, k, l, f. The word internal cluster per stone, is reduced to per stone, in taus, as in nm Spanish maestro, taus, mestu ne, teacher. The cluster was reduced further to just, t, as, metu ne, in one speaker, a reflection of the older pattern where, s, cannot be syllable final. See also Taos language Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Hale, Kenneth L. 1967. Toward a Reconstruction of Kiowa Tanoan Phonology. International Journal of American Linguistics, 33, 112-120. Harrington, J. P. 1909. Notes on the Piro language. American Anthropologist, 11 4, 563-594. Harrington, J. P. 1910. An Introductory Paper on the Tiwa Language, Dialect of Taos. American Anthropologist, 12 1, 11-48. Nichols, Lynn, 1994. Vowel Copy and Stress in Northern Tiwa, Picurus and Taos. In S. Epstein et al., eds., Harvard Working Papers in Linguistics, Volume 4, pp. 133-140. Traeger, George L. 1936. Louis V. Pueblo v. Taos, asterisk NUW Mexico, The Language of the Pueblo of Taos, asterisk New Mexico, LM Ter Phonetic, Maitre Phonetic, 56, 59-62. Traeger, George L. 1939. The Days of the Week in the Language of Taos Pueblo, New Mexico. Language, 15, 51-55. Traeger, George L. 1942. The Historical Phonology of the Tiwa Languages. Studies in Linguistics, 1, 5, 1-10. Traeger, George L. 1943. The Kinship and Status Terms of the Tiwa Languages. 
American Anthropologist, 45 1, 557 to 571. Traeger, George L. 1944. Spanish and English loanwords in Taos. International Journal of American Linguistics, 10 4, 144 to 158. Traeger, George L. 1946. An Outline of Taos Grammar. In C. Osgood, ed., Linguistic Structures in North America, pp. 184-221. New York, Wenner Green Foundation for Anthropological Research. Traeger, George L. 1948. Taos I, A Language Revisited. International Journal of American Linguistics, 14 155-160. Traeger, George L., and Valdez, Genevieve, 1937. English Loans in Colorado Spanish. American Speech, 12 34-44.